The North American Free Trade Agreement was the first deep trade agreement. It included seven key statements about tariff reduction, investments, and cooperation. The red colored line represents the depth index, in this case seven. The circle shows Mexico had the most agreements of them in 1992. But let's take a look at the last 60 years. First, we see mostly bilateral and shallow agreements. To protect markets and deepen economic ties against the Soviet bloc. In 1957, we have the European Community, which was created and later became the European Union. Third world countries form new regional blocks. In 1962, we have the regional block in Africa. In 1964, we see the Arab Regional Bloc. In 1968, it's the Caribbean Regional Bloc. Third world countries rebalance trade relations with developed countries. For instance, the Region-Region Agreement of the Lomé Convention of 1975. In 1990, the fall of the Iron Curtain created high demand for trade agreements. The depth also increased. Year 2000, European countries signed the most agreements. Though Asian countries started to get more engaged, for example, have a look at Singapore. Singapore focused on agreements within Asia to sustain stability and growth. Not all agreements have been captured yet for the last four years. Recently, more and more region-to-region -region agreements have been signed. Not yet captured are the ongoing negotiations for mega-regionals such as TTIP and TPP. So check out more data stories at our website.